Are you trying to step into your forehands and backhands to generate more power? If you're like B, you've taken lessons from coaches and they said, step into your ball, step into your forehand, step into your backhand. And in today's lesson, I'm gonna interpret exactly what that means, when to step in and what, when not to step in and where the power really originates on your ground strokes so that you can have a great balance to generate power and control. So for many of us, the idea of stepping into the ball has been grained into us so much that we're overstepping into the ball and we're getting our weight on the front foot too soon. And one of the key things you're gonna get from this video is where the balance originates to really generate power and be in control. And so for me, I was taught step in, step in, step in. So what you see a lot of players do is they step in early and they get the weight on the front foot and they're kind of trapped on that front foot and they lose the rhythm of the movement. And what happens then is the back foot goes in the air and it counterbalances. And for those of you who bowl or have gone bowling, it's kind of similar. You actually slide into the wood floor, you put your front foot down, and when you release the ball, the back leg actually counter, counterbalances the forward swing of the arm. We don't want to do that on a tennis stroke. We want to create rotation. So the, the balance has to originate on the back foot. So when I go to play a forehand and I'm receiving the ball and I put my weight on my back foot, if I have time and space, I can put the foot down. I think about putting the foot down rather than stepping in. Because when I step in, I actually disrupt the timing and the spacing between myself and the ball. So if I move over and I've got time and space, I'll put the foot down and play the shot, and then I'll finish by bringing my right foot to the outside so I'm balanced and centered and ready to move back and get ready for the next ball. So the key element here is that you want to set up on the back foot and if I, if I move over and I put my weight on my back foot as the ball's arriving, I just hold my balance and I'll play an open stance. So the idea of stepping into all these forehands just becomes a trap because once you get on the front foot too soon, you're no longer capable of rotating. All you're capable of doing is counterbalancing and then the swing becomes a trap into your body. So when we play the modern forehand, we want to rotate and clear the body for the swing to come through the ball. So we create power and clearance for the body to get out of the way and generate power for the swing. So how do we practice this? How do we replace the habit of being on the front foot with really setting up the balance for a modern stroke that's really gonna give you power and control? And again, the key element is to understand that the back foot is really the balance leg that starts the movement. So for me, what I do with a lot of players that get on the front foot too soon is I actually have them hit open stance forehands so that they get used to having the weight on the back leg to play the shot. And then I have them set up on the back leg and then I, I feed the ball in and they can put the foot down, play the shot, and carry on. And you can see just from what I'm doing here that this is a practice drill that you can do by yourself. And you can implement more footwork. So I can start out and move further out and play an open stance. I can move further out, put the foot in and play the shot. So there's a lot of different things you can do to replace bad habits with good movements. Just a lot of repetition. And then once you get used to doing that, if you have a coach or a practice partner, you can have them feed balls to you and you can do the exact same thing. So think about this. You don't want your left foot, in, for a right-hander like me, to get you to the ball. You want to get to the spacing of the ball with your balance on your outside leg and, or your back leg, and then if you have time and space to put the foot in. But you're not trying to get to the ball with the left foot because it's going to throw you out of balance, you're not going to be able to rotate into your shot, and you're just going to get a very poor result. And even if you make the shot, you're not really in a position to recover in rhythm and balance to continue on in the point. I hope this video was very helpful for you today. And really, balance is the key piece you need to get before you can really play at your very, very best. And some of you might be wondering, does this same principle apply to the backhand? And yes, it does. The backhand is gonna set up on the back leg first and have a well-timed movement that transfers the energy and the weight into the shot and allow you to finish with balance and rhythm to get ready for the next ball. I hope you really enjoyed and benefited from this lesson today. We had a lot of fun making it for you. Please subscribe to our channel here on YouTube if you've not done so already. 
turn on your notifications because we're producing a couple videos a week and want you to be well aware when we release new videos. Give us a like, leave your comments down below. And we also have a free gift for you. If you just click in the, in the description down below, you get access to our free library, the foundational principles of tennis on all the strokes. And we cover all the key elements you need to develop to achieve your full potential in the sport of tennis. And while you're on our website, have a browse around. We have additional free lessons there. We also have a membership course and a world-renowned serve foundation course that's sure to help you build your serve into a professional quality weapon. Stay tuned and we'll see you in the next video.